A new box office champ emerged this weekend with the release of Marvel's latest film. Black Widow set a new post-pandemic record for the biggest debut weekend, dominating the weekend with $80 million. After two weekends on top, F9, the Fast Saga dropped to second, earning $10.9 million for a domestic total of $141 million. The Boss Baby family business took third place on ticket sales of $8.7 million, and the Forever Purge fell to fourth with $6.7 million. A Quiet Place Part 2 made $3 million for fifth place and a domestic total of $150 million. A new documentary taking on an unlikely subject. It's a whale that's lived a lonely life. Scientists say the whale emits a frequency that no other whale can understand. As ABC's George Panaccio explains, the creators behind the movie were actually able to find the whale off the coast of California. A top secret program of the U.S. Navy discovered a mysterious sound in the Pacific at a frequency of 52 hertz. A solitary whale broadcasting at a frequency that no other whale could understand. The loneliest whale, the search for 52, takes us on an adventure to find a creature scientists believe has lived its life in solitude because the frequency of its voice can't be heard by any other whales. There's one point in the film where we come upon this huge pod of whales and, you know, you always remember the first time seeing a whale. But how about the first time you see a hundred whales? You know, it was just a mind blowing. Everywhere you look, spouts psh, 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 all across the horizon. We should be going after all great mysteries like this. This documentary got made thanks to crowdfunding. It really did take a village. You also have 14 executive producers on this film, including Leonardo DiCaprio. A lot of people came together. Um, thank God for Adrian Grenier, the actor who helped us kind of get together uh, as executive producer on the film. We went out with Kickstarter. Uh, DiCaprio suddenly gives us $50,000 and, and suddenly headlines all across the world, mind you, DiCaprio saves Lonely Whale. <laughs> I was going through some of our recordings, mm -hmm. and we found it. So it's still alive? Yep, it's out there. One whale, but it's a big ocean. Then we get a call from the scientist, John Hilterbrand, out in San Diego, and he's like, we found the whale, and it's in L.A. <laughs> You know, it's like waiting for its close up. I couldn't believe it. It was just so ridiculous. In the end, do they really find the whale? Zeman says you need to watch to find out. It's maybe not the ending you might think, but it's really heartwarming and beautiful. The Loneliest Whale, The Search for 52, is in theaters now and on digital July 16th. In Los Angeles, George Pinocchio for ABC News. Going to keep us in suspense. Yeah, keeping but... us on the hook there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like that. Very uh, good. Right. <laughs> SA Live is keeping us on the hook, too. We are going to watch this. I have a feeling there's going to be some food. Oh, yeah. Really you good think? food, too. Yes. All right. It's lunchtime. And of course, what are you hungry for? Head chef Bill Corbett from The Hayden is here with some of their signature sandwiches. And the thing is, is these are after uh, famous Big people, star. right? Big stars. Some big stars. OK, yeah. some big stars. Circles. All right. So, so the Larry David. Yes, sir. The actor, writer. And this goes with the what was going on in the show one time. Yeah, so uh, we were big fans of the show. And uh, one of the episodes, he actually has a sandwich that's named after him. Which is not good, though, because right, he, he, he perceives like it, it to not be right. as good. Okay. Everybody else enjoys it. Hopefully, you'll enjoy it. And we are going to be making that and tell you what the ingredients are in the Larry David sandwich, too. They also have some really great cocktails over there, too. And Ooh. speaking of those cocktails, they need some crushed ice. So Mike has Ooh. been waiting about 45 minutes to tell you all about this so trick. This is called a Lewis bag, literally. And it's from old time bar somewhere. And it's the old fashioned way. We now have crushed ice. So it's like you used to do it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, it worked. <laughs> I had fun. Okay, well, the, cl the classic cinnamon going. roll has evolved. We're going to tell you where you can mix and match flavors to create the cinnamon roll of your dreams. I'm going to keep crushing the ice. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. We're now jumping into the upper 80s. We'll be near 90 today. 10% chance of a stray shower storm, mainly north of San Antonio. Well, Hazy thinks that Saharan dust should uh, calm a little bit tomorrow. 20% chance rain on your Tuesday, just a 10% chance Wednesday and Thursday. 
This is more typical July weather with low 90s by the weekend, guys. Thank you, Justin. Thank you for watching the News at Noon with us. You know, I know Mike's a really good handyman, but whenever he's swinging a hammer around Fiona, any kind of hammer, I, I just, I fear for Fiona. I don't know why, I just, I just like, Fiona, back up, he's please. crushing some ice with a <laughs> sledgehammer a minute ago. What's next? Who knows? SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh what, no! What's next, you ask? How about a torch <laughs> oh, to toast bread? I'm standing clear. Hello and happy Monday, everyone. <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm Fiona Garcia. Is that, is that, You're oh, supposed to toast God. your buns, not burn them. Okay. I'm going to be eating that sandwich. And I'm like Ostrich, and I'm having a lot of fun here with mallets as well as flamethrowers <laughs> <Next>, today. <so. laughs> he's going to want to push elevator buttons. <laughs> okay. All right. An elevator? <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's lunchtime, and what are you hungry for? And there's a very good chance you can find it at the Hayden. It's a little bit, I know, it's, it's a little burned bread in here. So uh, it's a little bit of something for everybody. It is a deli inspired with sandwiches and something special and one of a kind in the Alamo City. Yes, head chef Bill Corbett from the Hayden is here to show us a few of their signature sandwiches and how not to burn the butts, right? That's correct. <laughs> I'll keep that back yes. to you, Bill. Yeah, we'll use this over here in a second. Uh, okay. okay, so what are we making first? So first for y'all, we have the Larry David sandwich, which okay. is a Kerber Enthusiasm inspired sandwich, but also really falls into the, the deli-ish inspired diner feel that we have. So you have your classic white fish salad, your classic Nova Lox, capers, little pickled onion, cucumber. Okay, so how do I get started? All right, so for this one to start off with, you have some nice fresh romaine right there, so we'll put okay. that on the bottom of the bun. All right. The, the well toasted bun. <laughs> yes, a little bit of the, the pickled sumac onions that are right there. Okay. And we're going to reserve a, hard a little bit of those. Toast on that bun. A very okay. hard toast. And so these ingredients tell us a little bit about, you know, it's the Larry David, but on the show, he wasn't really a huge fan of the ingredients in this sandwich. Yeah, right? he said there was a little bit too much fish, and they did make a point that you could brush off the capers. <laughs> uh, now the fish? Yeah, so now you have our uh, smoked whitefish salad, which we actually use uh, redfish for. So we have that South Texas touch to that. Okay, and just nice big. Oh yeah, just, just on top slop of that. it right on there. That's a technical and then, term. Slop it on there. Yeah. So. Then the capers. A little bit of the nice briny capers go on top of that to give it a little pop. And what's interesting when you have the, the capers on here and then the smoked salmon. I mean, put this on a bagel and it's a one of those good bagel sandwiches. You're not far away. Okay, now okay. we're. Now we go with the beet cured uh, Nova Lux. Oh, okay. So we actually take some beet powder and mix that in with uh, the salt and the sugar to help give it that color. And then we do a nice yeah, cold smoke on baby. there to make it Cucumbers. nice, smoky, fatty. A little bit of cucumber we put on there to give it a little bit of crisp. So all these ingredients work, right? They work together. Yes, yes. When, when first tested, uh, the sous chef had a moment where he looked at me and he said, it's, it's ridiculous that this tastes as good as it does. It does not deserve to be this good. <laughs> so is it one of the more popular sandwiches? It is, definitely is. And what's nice about it with us is that it really falls into what we're trying to do over there at the Hayden. And talk a little bit about what you're trying to do, because it's a mixture of like old school and, you know, new yeah, school. Yeah, old dining, school right? and new school. So we're very much like deli-ish, <laughs> heavy on the ish, uh -huh. in, a, in a diner space. You know, we want to be that place that's welcome to everybody and just having like really nice classic food, but just tweaking it a little bit. And it does have, between the lox and the, the fish in there, it, it's got that good deli, deli-ish flavor to it. Yes. So, mm, okay. All now, right, so now what am I making here? All right, so now we're gonna have a, another type of salad, but this one's actually uh, plant-based since that's all the rage nowadays. Okay. So we're actually gonna make a, a tuna-ish tuna melt <laughs> with uh, a chickpea and almond base is what we're using that instead of uh, plants, okay. or that's what we are using as plants. Mm -hmm. Uh, put a little mayo, uh, we're going to have a little mustard, and then the, the base of this one is this basically just a good old southern uh, chicken salad base. So how'd you come up with this idea? So with this one was actually uh, inspired by having a girlfriend that is plant-based and needing to go on a picnic with her. <laughs> and so I actually came up with uh, this idea for doing instead of having like your traditional chicken salad. And still being able to play around with some. And the nice thing about the chickpeas, because those are very, very healthy. A lot of good protein in those things, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. What would be your favorite dish 
at the restaurant? I know because you've got all sorts of great sandwiches, everything. They always fluctuate around. I mean, I think if it's your first time coming to us over at the Hayden, the, the first thing you got to try is the pastrami sandwich. What's so special about it? We're, what we're doing is you know, your classic New York Jewish deli diner pastrami. And I think anybody that's from Texas knows what brisket is as far as like a Texas barbecue idea. But seeing it in the light of on a, like a pastrami, where you're basically taking a brisket and you're smoking it, but you're putting like a different type of seasoning on it, mm -hmm. it really can show people like a different way to enjoy brisket. Okay. And kind of seeing that connection between like some of these Jewish classic delis and like a normal barbecue joint. And then speaking of classic deli, uh, great rye bread that that goes on, and then yes. you're gonna melt the cheese on top of that. So I put a nice big uh -oh. scoop of the chickpea melt on top of that. Okay. And probably put a big second one over there. Big second one, all right, there we go. And you're located oh. right there on Broadway, just south of uh, Hildebrand, correct? Yes, in between Hildebrand and the Witty. Brunch on the weekends? Brunch on the weekends from 10 to 3, and then we do uh, dinner from uh, till 10 o'clock now on Fridays <laughs> and Saturdays, 9 o'clock Tuesday through Thursday. And we are going to start opening up for breakfast on July the 20th. Okay. So we'll be open from 8 to 10.45 for breakfast. See, I don't have you're, one of these torches at home. I need one. You're redeeming yourself from, you. from the buns. There you go. We're going to finish it good? off with? A little bit of arugula and roasted tomato salad. Ooh, really? Because I love Ooh. arugula, too. All right. If you'd like more information on the Hayden, just go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And they've got classic food, and then they've got classic cocktails and some great specialty cocktails. And guess what? We're going to be making those coming up just a little bit later on. Yes. Well, it's one of those binge-worthy shows that a lot of folks may have already finished. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. It is called Virgin River, and they just released season number three, and our Jen Tobias Trusky got to sit down with some of the stars and hear all about it. Take a look. Well, the wait is over for the Netflix hit show, Virgin River. All the love, secrets, and drama, much anticipated. And the TV couple, Mel and Jack, one of my favorites. So many fans of them. We are so excited to chat today with Alex Brackenridge, who plays Melinda Monroe, and Martin Henderson, who plays Jack Sheridan. Hello, you two from San Antonio. Howdy. Hi. Hi. Hey there, Jen. Happy to be here. You know, I was researching you guys and I realized there are so many social media uh, profiles, Instagram pages dedicated to this couple. What is it about this couple, you think, <laughs> that has everybody falling in love with them, rooting for them? For well, the woman's hot. <laughs> that doesn't hurt. <laughs> You're not so bad yourself, okay? <laughs> <laughs> wow. But I made the leap, and now it feels like you're the one trying to protect yourself. Obviously, the chemistry is great, though, between you two. Um, yeah, I think I think that had I think that has a lot to do with it. It's this classic, like, will they, won't they, love story? Can they push through all of their own emotional uh, components and roadblocks to finally come together? And I think that you know, I think that that got audience members invested. Mm -hmm. I started watching already season three, and I, yeah, I'm smiling watching you two interact. So it, there's something very special about that on-screen chemistry. Now, when season two ended, you find, find Jack bleeding on the floor. So what can we expect in season three? Because that obviously was a big cliffhanger there for us. It, it becomes a bit of a mystery, so uh, you you won't get the answers quickly. Um, but it's kind of fun because Jack ends up losing his memory from that night, so he can't recall any of the details. But as the episodes go on, little things trigger his memory, and he starts to try to piece together fragments of what he can recall, and he slowly tries to piece together who it is. But there's quite a few suspects out there. Um, I'm still convinced it's probably Charmaine, but um, you'll have to wait to find <laughs> out if that's true or not. What are the challenges of playing these characters? Luckily, I, you know, I'm, I'm so damaged that it, it's sort of just <laughs> easy for me. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That was going to be it's, my line, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard sometimes because, you know, you want to do it. Uh, you want to do it authentically, uh, you know, the, the, you want the audience to really believe in these characters, otherwise the whole thing falls apart. 
Um, and there's some days where you just don't want to do it. You don't really want to delve into some of the darker, more uncomfortable moments of the character's psyche, but... I enjoy being able to put myself in those places and really commit so that uh, I can take the audience on that emotional journey of the character as authentically as I possibly can. Will there be a season four, but also is there going to be another cliffhanger that we can anticipate in this season three? It's a big bomb uh, that gets dropped. And well, there's a couple actually, there's a couple cliffhangers, but I think that, you know, the, the main event is, uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm very excited to see what people say about it. Yeah, season three available Thanks now on us. Netflix. It's such a pleasure chatting with both of you. I enjoy watching the show. Thank you all. I truly believe that anything worth having is worth fighting for. If you like more on Virgin River, of course, head to our website on salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. So we want to know, what are you binge watching right now? Uh, the Fall. Okay. On uh, Amazon Prime, mm -hmm. Gillian Anderson. It was actually uh, you came told out, me about this. It actually came out back in I think 2012, 2012, 2013. Is that when it started? Yeah, it's based in Ireland. It's about a serial killer, and uh, it's pretty good. We're hooked on it. We're in, into season three right now. So what about you? Catching up on The Handmaid's Tale. Almost oh, done. My, my Almost wife done. loves that one. So. so let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter what you're binge watching right now, and we'll see what y'all are into. All right, still ahead on the show, getting ready to hit the beach. Well, maybe you want to bring that island vibe to the city. We're showing you three tropical fashion looks. But first, the classic cinnamon roll has evolved, where you can mix and match flavors to create the cinnamon roll of your dreams. And what's surprising, so many customers to find out about this sweet shop. Find out the secret next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. I'm getting dizzy just looking at that picture. You can create the cinnamon roll of your dreams at Cineholic, and people are really amazed when they find out that everything in the store is all plant-based. Oh my gosh, even less guilt. And Nikki Reeder, owner of the local Cineholic, is here to help us make some of their newest creations and talk about the latest at Cineholic. So it's kind of like, a uh, cinnamon roll bar, right, if you yes. will? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. okay. Exactly. And these cinnamon rolls and all the toppings are vegan and plant-based? Correct. What? Every single thing in store is plant-based, vegan. And so the whole process is there's about 8 million different things to choose from. Yes. Something like that. All the different frostings, all the different toppings, and you just go and, like you said, create your, your own dream roll. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we start out, um, customer comes in, and we have a warm, freshly baked cinnamon roll that we make Check. in store. Yes. Okay. We make it throughout the day, so it's always fresh, mm -hmm. and then you choose from any of our 20 plus frosting flavors that we make in store. So obviously this is just a small These are just sampling, a few, right? Yes. Okay. And this is one of those, and you can either create your own or you have some specialties, and this is one of the seasonal specialties, and it's German chocolate cake. German chocolate, right. So that right now you're using the, uh, the chocolate frosting, and you can just spread that around. Mm -hmm. And then next, we yes. can put. Tell me what's next. Some of our okay. brownies that we also baked oh, this me. morning. Okay. You just the chop, get, get some of those. Good Lord. Wow. There you go. Okay. They are so Thank good. You. One of okay. our most popular items. Okay. And there then we just go. break off these pieces, mm -hmm. right? There you go. Mm -hmm. Just tuck them in. Yes. Uh -huh. Put them to bed <laughs> for the night. Perfect. Yes. And yes. then we'll sprinkle a little bit of that oh, coconut good. custard. So good. Oh, very Okay, chocolate. then coconut nice custard. Oh, it's nice and moist and chewy. He's very still good. on the brownie yes. part. Okay. <laughs> there you coconut go. Custard. Yes. Uh huh. And then uh -huh. we'll finish it off with some pecans. And then, and then you've got your German chocolate cinnamon roll. Yum yum. Okay. Oh, now, there you go. so folks can build their own dream cinnamon roll, <laughs> or you have some of them kind of already finished, like yes. like these, right? Yes, yeah, some of these are some of our most popular uh, cinnamon rolls that people will just come in and order. Um, mm. Our Cookie Monster uh, cinnamon roll, our South Town Brew, which has a nice hazelnut frosting, some uh, uh, coffee bits and coconut, Ooh. so good. Um, and fresh fruit to make it healthy. Fresh, <laughs> and then we've got our 
breakfast in bed, which is mainly fruit, uh, strawberry frosting. And the ultimate in decadence seems to me is putting cookie dough on a cinnamon roll. Let's yes. do it. Sure. Do it, yes. I'm so it. yes, our cookie dough is mm -hmm. also plant based, so you can eat Get it the raw. Ice in there. What? Well, icing first. Oh, I'm sorry. I got all excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just put that aside. Yes, and you can order. Um, people come in and just buy our cookie dough. You can buy it out of the tub and make cookies, you know, at home, or, or you can just, just eat it raw. Eat it raw. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you are located right south of downtown, right? Yes, right across from Rosario's, um, between Brown and Gus's. Okay. So there you go, and you can add a little bit of chocolate chips if you'd like. It's like a blanket. Okay. But you okay. make your own your own dream roll. <laughs> <laughs> and then what did you use? Where's that drizzle? Uh, okay, there's you some got chocolate it. drizzle. There you okay, go. You know what? I'm going to do a little bit there of brownie. You go. Okay, take this up a notch. <laughs> All right, and like not that. go wrong. No. Nope. What okay. do you think? You know, I was dizzy looking at the picture starting off, and now I'm just in like heaven. Yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm yeah. Okay. So what else is there at Cineholic? Um, we have cookies. We have our mm. cookie cake. Um, one or two layers. We have coconut macaroons, which are a limited time offering right now. We also have some Dole Whip, and we just started doing Dole Whip with chamoy mass. Uh, oh, so we Mike. have. Mike needs a napkin. So oh, this greatness. Oh, do you, do you have napkins? Look, okay, look. I know that he was really enjoying it. Yes. Yes. So we okay. have some warm treats. <laughs> And now some cold drinks. <laughs> I didn't see that until just now. I'm sorry. Usually we, we take, we make sure. Like the other person isn't just hung out to dry with like food dribbling down their chin. Okay. I'm sorry. I just saw it. Just sorry. Okay. It's hard not to do. Right. So but that good. means it's good. I mean, that yeah. means it's good. Messy food's good food. Yes. Uh, right there is St. Mary's and Alamo right by uh, Alamo. Rosario's. Yeah. Yes. Right by Rosario's between okay. Brown and, and Guesses. And yeah. get them to go and you can order. You can order online, like curbside. Um, just or come on in. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I'll get yes. let Mike get cleaned up here for more information. <laughs> do you have like a wet wipe or anything? Uh, on our <laughs> Cineholic, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the as seen on SA Live tab. He's got sticky fingers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, when the chocolate's dripping down your face, you know it's good. Hey, mm -hmm. still ahead on SA Live, it's like a dessert. Ooh, more dessert. And a drink, whether you like coffee or cobblers, where you can find this creative happy hour menu. And next, back to school immunizations are extra important this year. How you can get free help making sure your kids stay healthy as they return to the classroom. It's straight ahead. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, we're in the middle of summer, but it's time to start thinking about getting the kids ready to head back to class. I can't believe it, it's already here. I mean, that's it's going so fast. All right, joining yeah. me now is Victoria Martinez, public relations specialist with Community First Health Plans. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me. Of course, so let's talk about what it means to be back to school ready. Yes, so although it may feel like school has just ended for many students, mm -hmm. um, school is coming back in just a handful of weeks. Um, that's all the time that they have left. And since a lot of our students are going to be attending in person this year, it's extremely important for them to be up to date on their school required immunizations and physicals. So how does Medicaid help kids be ready? Yeah, great question. So if you qualify for Medicaid, Medicaid helps cover by covering a variety of preventative services like well child visits, physicals, immunizations, dental exams, and vision exams. And are there any upcoming opportunities to help parents get their kids back to school ready? Yes, so Community First Health Plans and University Health have partnered to bring the Back to School Immunization Clinic. And this is a great opportunity for your students and children to get their physicals, school required shots done, um, and it's at no cost. And if you're a Community First member, you're also eligible for giveaways like gift cards, backpacks, notebooks, um, and more. Oh my goodness, so you definitely want to take uh, part of that. Community First Health Plans members are welcome to attend the no-cost back-to-school immunization clinic on July 17th. It's going to be from 8 a.m. to noon yes. at University Health Harlandale ISD School-based health center at 834 West South Cross. Now to set up your appointment, all you have to do is call 210-358-7020 or visit HealthyUExpress.com. 
For more information on Community First Health Plans, just visit communityfirsthealthplans.com. Victoria, once again, thank you so much for your time. Yes, thank you for having me. All right, next on the show, do you like coffee or cobblers? We're making cocktails that are almost more dessert than drinks. You don't want to miss this. Plus, you can win free tickets to Celebrity Fan Fest and Six Flags. Just go to ksat.com slash insider for details and your chance to win a family four pack. The contest ends July 22nd. Don't go anywhere. You're watching SA Live. And they were good, by yes, the way. Those yes, the ones we made, awesome. yeah, they're gone. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. Well, earlier, of course, we talked lunch with those great sandwiches over there at the Hayden, and now you got to have something to wash them down. We're talking happy hour. Yes, Cassie McLeod, General Manager of the Hayden, is here to help us make some of the cocktails and mocktails that sound more like desserts than drinks. <laughs> We're so excited. I'm this excited. Is exactly how yeah. to finish out a show. Soul Shaker, <laughs> Hayden Cobbler, and the Dream Sickle. <laughs> We're going to tell you what that one yeah. is reminiscent of. Think back to your days wandering around the, the shopping malls. So, <laughs> all right, we're going to start. And this is, a, I, I love this one because it's kind of a, a classic cocktail. It's not just a couple of in, ingredients thrown together, but it almost takes you back to the good old days. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah, we have, uh, so it is a tequila based cocktail. It's mm -hmm. really, it's perfect for maybe after you eat or a good breakfast cocktail mm -hmm. if you want to. Which I don't think of um, tequila being an after dinner right. type drink. Well, the Amaro, the Montenegro is kind of what makes it more of a after dinner digestif that helps you like uh, process your food. Oh, you know I mean? okay. Uh, so starting off with a velvet Liqueur. Yeah, Velvet Valerinum, which is a, a Caribbean uh, almond citrus liqueur. Ooh. Quarter, do. Mm -hmm. or quarter ounce, I mean. Quarter ounce, that's right. All right. Now, this. And then that's your Italian Amaro, so that's your digest sheep. That's a half ounce. Did you come up with this recipe? I did, yes. Oh, really? So what do you do? Just, mm -hmm. just take a bunch of different yeah. things and start putting them all together? Yeah, kind of. I mean, you just think about your different flavor profiles, mm -hmm. um, you know. Tequila. Tequila. A lot, a lot of, of people don't know this, but tequila and coffee go really well together. So you're going to do an ounce and a half of your tequila. I had now no that's idea. That's a party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. I would have never thought. I mean, you know, you think of like Frangelico or yeah. Ramonier mm -hmm. in coffee, but not yeah. tequila. So, and then. Uh, a, a quarter ounce of vanilla syrup. Vanilla. Okay. okay. That's just going to kind of round out all the ingredients there. And, and then an ounce of cold brew that we uh, are roasted by pulp here in San Antonio. Stir so, this all up? Yep. You're going to put ice in it first. Look, we have crushed ice. Okay. And Thanks how did Lewis you do bag. that? <laughs> Thanks to the Lewis. Yeah. Crushed ice in a small amount of glass does not go very well. It goes all over the table. So we stir this up and... Do you, okay. Are you going to put... You want to put ice in your coffee drink? You have to dilute it a little bit first. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh yeah. Okay. I was just going <laughs> to keep it creamy in there. So, all right. So, we do this here. Then stir it up. And. Then strain it. This nifty little strainer mm -hmm. is called a, by the way, because there's two little slots right there, you could pour actually two drinks in one, right? At, at one time, yeah. At one and time. It's... I'm not going to waste the booze, so <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to experiment with it. We try it, so it just goes over a glass like that. There we go. And when is happy hour there in the Hayden? So happy hour is Tuesday through Fridays from 3 to 6. Okay. Okay. A little garnish on top. And we and have uh, food and cocktails on, on the happy on hour the menu. happy hour menu? Okay. What kind of food? We have the um, Brussels sprouts, mm -hmm. our laki, mm -hmm. the... Um, is that good? That's it. Here, take a quick sip before you start. We have a, um, also a roasted beet hummus that we do for happy Ooh. hour. Brisket okay. beet hummus. Hummus. Roasted peat, a beet. Ro oh, roasted beet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm. Very good. Good? That's very really good. Tasty. Okay, okay, next. No. So our next cocktail is going to be a, uh, it's a spinoff of a classic cocktail called a cobbler, which okay. is a low ABV, which means low alcohol. Okay. Um, and so you're going to have your Amonte Amontillado sherry, and this is all built in glass. Okay. Oh. okay. So you're going to do an ounce and a half of that. Oh, sorry. There we 
we go. You know, now that you mention it, that does taste like it would be a very good, it's kind of settling that sandwich that I just yeah, did in, in, in the first segment. So okay. that's really tasty. And then we're going to do a half ounce of our uh, house puree strawberry. So just pour all this? Uh, you you can pour, just, if you want to eyeball it, you can. Just eyeball. Uh, there we go. There that's we good. go. Whoa, that's right. that's going to be okay. delicious. And then a quarter ounce of cucumber syrup. Okay. Cucumber syrup? Mm hmm. Okay. And then you're going to do four dashes of the rhubarb bitters. So of all the things on the menu over there, what's your favorite? As far as cocktails go? Um, sandwiches. Or, or sandwiches. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, you can never go wrong with the pastrami, of course. And then um, the, I love the Ted Danson. It's, that's a really fun, uh, Which fun one's one. Which one? That's the, the counterpart to the Larry David. So it's, uh, it's basically a... Uh, um, Corlett, it's was oh a Rachel. I was. It's basically a Rachel sandwich, oh, which okay. is uh, slaw, turkey, uh, Russian dressing. So it's a good one. Oh, that does sound good. Okay. Now just and then yep, ice. the crushed ice. Fill it with some ice. And besides the Lewis bag that we learned about and the nifty little strainer, another little trick with the mint. Remember? Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. So this one, you want to use your um, stir mm -hmm. a little bit. Oh, stir a little uh -huh. bit, okay. Because you want to incorporate all the ingredients, get okay. a little bit of dilution, okay. and then you'll start to see the wash line rise. Oh, there we see? go, okay. And then mound it with a little bit more ice. Okay, more ice. Okay. Here we go. And then this, right? Mm-hmm. And then the orange peel to make it look like a little sun. Like the sun with a, with a tree. There we go. <laughs> Yay! <Beautiful. laughs> and the last one we were talking about, if you've been wandering around the mall as a kid, and what was the favorite drink that you could get right there at the stand right in the middle? An orange Julius. Yes! yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our spin of, of an orange Julius. So what is, makes it a little bit different is that we use coconut um, instead of a dairy product. Um, and then we also use key limes, which makes it a little bit more tart uh, and has a little bit more bold flavor in it. Uh, it is a non-alcoholic drink, but if you want to add booze, a little bit of alcohol to it, you could either do some um, options are spice rum or some sparkling wine. Okay. Shall we? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Ooh. That's really good. That is very tasty. That's really okay. good. Don't forget better the, than the ones at the mall. Over there on Broadway, <laughs> just south of Hildebrand, and lunch, dinner, and brunch on the weekends, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, great stuff. All right. Next on the show. Fashion that makes you feel like you're on vacation. We're showing you three looks that are perfect for the beach or elsewhere. Well, whether it's a staycation, a vacation, or simply your imagination, why not go ahead and channel some island time with style? And Leighton Whittington from Leighton W Couture is here to help you feel tropical. Yes, I'm gonna try my hardest. Tropical isn't always my go-to thing, except I found a palm tree shirt. That's about <laughs> as good as I could get out of my closet. Um, but yeah, I'm super into that tropical vibe right now, and I think we all are. But after being cooped up for a year, like maybe we all can't run off to a tropical island. Right. somewhere but we can certainly bring those little touches in and now tropical fashion is going in a different direction it doesn't have to be prints like this it's new subtle things that I'm kind of obsessed with from a local brand I love that because these brands are local and Texas brands right? absolutely okay. so our first look is on our model Leah here we've got this awesome jacket it's from lunchroom anxiety for Richter goods right here in San Antonio on Broadway she does these great tropical inspired embroideries and guys she does these by hand and this isn't just something that you're getting and that there's like a hundred thousand of them there's only a few she does the most beautiful stitching ever so these two cans going out on a little tropical adventure for the day even if you're just hanging out around town this is great throw that over your favorite sundress I think it's awesome look at the stitching Isn't it? on those two cans it's amazing I mean, it looks completely I mean it looks so perfect it looks like it's done by a machine it is awesome is she is pretty awesome yeah. awesome and it is called lunchroom anxiety so I'm gonna assume she was hanging around having lunch and this 
this is how she was dealing with anxiety. I'm not sure, whatever it is, it is fabulous. And I love the pop of color with the green. Yeah, and we just paired this, like I said, with the sundress, the models on shoes, and this great necklace here that was also handmade here in San Antonio by Art Matters and Blue Star. So if you just want to pick up a little thing for your little summer tropical touch, that's a great way to do it. Pop on down to Blue Star, check out Art, Mat Art Matters. All right. Next, we've got Amelia here. This is another item from Lunchroom Anxiety. We've got to see the back of it. This is more of that fabulous tropically nautical inspired embroidery. We've got this cool little whale with a trident. And down here on the bottom, I don't know if you can really see it, but we've got this great little anchor touch, which I absolutely love. And this is another one of those things. This could be a robe at home. This could be a robe to go to the pool in. This could be something like Amelia did. We threw it over this great t-shirt from Hemline San Antonio. We don't always like to announce that we're a mess, but come on, sometimes it's true. Sometimes you and just have to own it. And we love this shirt. And we love that Hemline San Antonio has items like this so that we can just be playful and have fun. And again, pop on those tropical colors, those little themes. It's a new way to do it. And I love those earrings. They're fantastic. Also from Hemline San Antonio. And so going into the next look is kind of just monochromatic, right? Yes. So that's something that we're going to see. Well, we have been seeing a lot more of it. Unfortunately, during the pandemic, fashion brands and big retailers even were having a much harder time financially. Mm -hmm. So they had to kind of strip themselves away from all the over dyed products and overused materials. So we did end up with more monochromatic type outfits. And this is another one. It's a combination from Richter Goods and Lunchroom Anxiety for the Pearl and uh, Magnolia Pearl, who I absolutely love. She's out in Fredericksburg. Check her out. She does all this stuff. This one, we've got this great crab that was embroidered on the back. It's so fun. So again, that little tropical touch, but on a really simple garment that feels like you could wear this literally anywhere over a t-shirt dress, a belt, and these fabulous custom pearl Adidas for the pearl right here in San Antonio. Jake Dancliffe's made these. He's like the original sneaker customizer. And now we've got them right here available from Richter Goods for the Pearl by Jake Dancliffe's. Oh my gosh, I love that. And let's see that the crab on the back one more time. Oh my gosh, that's absolutely. It's so yes. cool. It's just a great way to do the tropical theme. All right, tell folks how to find you. You can always find me at LeightonW.com and at the LeightonW on Instagram. All right, they're on all the socials. Thank you so much and thank you ladies. For more information on Leighton W Couture, just head to our website, EssayLive.com and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. Next on the show, looking for work. There's a job fair happening soon, so we're gonna give you a sneak peek at the variety of positions available all in one place. There's even a chance for bonuses. Keep it right here to find out. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, if you are looking for a job, you are in luck because the San Antonio State Hospital is hiring and is hosting a job fair on Wednesday, July 14th, and it's hiring for all positions. Here to tell us more about it, is, the event is Director of Community Relations, Jessica Ruiz. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mike. Okay, tell us, it's the 14th, but exactly what are the times and where, and you're looking to hire just about everybody, right? That is correct. This Wednesday, July 14th from 9 a.m. to noon, we are having a job fair at the state hospital. Come ready, come dressed, and come prepared to be interviewed is what we are just telling all potential candidates and maybe even walk out with a job offer. Fantastic, and this is hiring everybody from basically A to Z that works at uh, the hospital. That is correct, anywhere from nursing, registered nurses, nurse assistants, to psychologists, psychiatrists, and social workers, and even our support staff, just like custodians, kit cooks and all, a variety. Any any position at all at a hospital that you're looking for. So the hospital's opening a new unit soon and a new hospital is on the horizon. That just means a lot more jobs down the road too, right? Very exciting, a lot of growth there at the state hospital from a new 40 bed unit that has been remodeled. And then in 2024, we will have a brand new hospital all under one roof right there in San Antonio's South Side. Okay, so for somebody that's not really familiar with it, what's it like working at the San Antonio State Hospital? I've been there for just over three years and I really, really, enjoy my job there. I am an administrative professional there and I don't see it 
as just a job, but it's a actual career. I do have a family and working there not only makes me feel good in my heart, but it also allows me to have that work-life balance that a lot of people uh, may not have and maybe are looking for. So I would encourage anyone just thinking about that or maybe in need of that in their lives to really pursue an opportunity with us. And, and to really have kind of a long-term commitment, if you will. Uh, what about benefits? That is correct. And I mentioned I have a family benefits, a robust health care package, dental vision, and also retirement benefits, a really, really great pension program, and then um, educational benefits and all those just extra perks that make working at a place like this even more pleasant. Educational benefits, so if you want to further and go back for another degree or a first degree, that can happen as well, right? That is correct, yeah. And so a lot of maybe an LVN wanting to transition into an RN, we do support programs like that and uh, maybe other educational opportunities for administrative professionals and whatnot. Okay, so how can people find out more? We encourage you to call the number on the screen, which is 210-531-7777. Come to the job fair, ask questions, and like I said, be prepared. And so if you cannot make the job fair, you can also visit our website. Because like you said, you may get offered a job on the spot. That is correct. Okay, yes. very good. Well, nice chatting with you, Jessica. And you well. if, once again, the San Antonio State Hospital hiring event is Wednesday, July 14th from 9 a.m. to noon at 6711 South New Braunfels Avenue. And for more information, visit hhs.texas.gov slash health careers or give them a call at 210-531-7777. Once again, Jessica, nice chat with you. You as well, Mike. Thank you. Tomorrow on SA Live, this German beer garden is ready for a stein holding contest and cooking up some of the great summer dishes that you won't want to miss. Plus, the San Antonio Public Library is helping SA keep kids entertained this summer. We'll be making crafts from outdoor objects and reading outdoor themed books. That and more tomorrow at 1 right here on SA Live. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. We asked you earlier, what are you binge watching right now? And here's what you said. Yolanda says Jane the Virgin on Netflix. And another one, the following. From Kim. Okay. Huh. What else? I'm trying to get some ideas Virgin here. River. Mary Helen okay. says, what was that, Virgin River? Virgin River, mm -hmm. yeah, and the fall. So the following, I'll have to tune in. <laughs> tune in tomorrow.